If I was unable to get a blood transfusion, my life would have been so totally different. I would have been, I don't think I would have made it 24 years old. My name is Kayla and I am 24, I'll be 25 in October. I was diagnosed with sickle cell from birth. Um, my mom found out it was one of those things where she had me and then she was like, oh snap, I have the trait. And then my dad turned out to have the trait. In elementary, I used to walk around with the oxygen tank. It was very embarrassing. When I got in middle school, it got really bad. I had to get my gallbladder out. Um, I felt my first 10th grade year because I was in the hospital majority of the year. I worked, I went to day school, night school, so I could graduate on time. And I also worked at McDonald's that year. And then I'm, after I turned 18, I graduated on time. I moved to Georgia to be with my grandmother and to go to school out here. And I started working at Zaxby's for a little while, but then I got sick. And so for a good amount of like three years, I was in and out of the hospital constantly, like I was when I was little. Um, infections, like I have one port infection that lasts for a good year. Like it, was, it had to be taken out, it got that bad. I had my first pain crisis when I was like five months. The fatigue feels like running multiple marathons all the time, constantly, like you're tired, like your busiest, imagine having your busiest day, I could best explain it, where you have everything that you need to do that day, and at the end of the day, you get in your bed, you're like, oh my God, I am so tired. Like your body is just so through. Well, that's what it's like when you wake up in the morning with a pain crisis. But a lot of people don't know, like, they think if you get a blood transfusion, you're most likely in a car accident and you lost a lot of blood and you need blood. But for us, it's like really vital because our body is like full throttle with sickle cell blood. And to take someone else's blood for a while or for a couple of weeks to keep us from having a pain crisis, is like amazing. It's, it's literally like saving your life from blood. But people don't think about it that way because you're still up, you know, you're not critical. My sister donates all the time because she sees how it affects me. So it's, I'm like 10 times better Kayla when I have a blood transfusion. <laughs> like I feel like I can do everything when I have a blood transfusion. So it's pretty awesome. I am working in a call center now. Uh, I plan on going to school to get my CNA. That's gonna take a month. And then I'm gonna to go to nursing school. And right now what I'm doing is my, my mini goal is to get a car. That's, what, that's my first goal. And then finish school. And eventually I wanna have multiple you know, nonprofits and a hospital and things like that. Without my first blood transfusion, I honestly don't know where I would be right now. And I really appreciate you not being selfish of something that's so precious and so private and actually giving it to somebody and thinking about somebody else before thinking about yourself because you honestly don't know how bad it impacts someone like me, something that I have, something that I want to do and experience. Like you honestly don't know how much life you gave someone like me and I appreciate it, thank you.